Welcome to Tailboard Talk, a fourth shift fit cast. The mission of Tailboard Talk and the fourth shift fitness is to educate and train fire service personnel to increase durability and decrease the potential for injuries and their associated costs. My name is Chris Morella, owner and founder of Fourth Shift Fitness. I'll use my experience as a personal trainer, strength coach, and 15-year veteran of the fire service to deliver tips, tricks, lessons, and information specifically geared towards the health and wellness of firefighters and paramedics. Each episode, you'll leave with immediate deliverables that will improve performance and resilience and keep you in the fight through your career and into retirement. Let's get into it. What's going on, guys? Chris from Fourth Shift Fitness, and we are finally recording this episode. It's the night before release, so I'm releasing this in roughly five hours overnight, uh, and this is much, much tighter than I'm used to doing these things. One of the benefits of doing these with Kurt or Katie on a regular basis, a weekly basis, is that we got a week ahead, which still probably isn't like professionally enough. You should probably be a couple episodes ahead, but I got like a week ahead, which was nice because if we needed to fudge it for a few days or if we got an opportunity to record early for a few days or a few days earlier, bonus, right? Uh, but since a week and a half ago when we were supposed to record this episode, just everything's been rocking and rolling. So the kids got sick, uh, which led to us getting sick, Katie and I getting sick. I had to take a few days off work and then I have a Kelly day uh, coming up. Um, because they were sick and because we were getting sick, we, I couldn't have Kurt over, couldn't record one there. Um, I knew I wanted to make it a devote December episode, couldn't invite Annette over. And then her schedule got really crazy because she was called out of town to do a really, really cool project, um, with the strategic initiative. If you're not following them, dude, follow them, especially if you're in the fire service and you're listening to this podcast, even if you're not, and you're listening to this podcast, go follow the strategic initiative on Instagram some crazy stuff coming out of there, but she had to go fly out, uh, to meet with them. Uh, coming back, of course, it's the day that Comcast is down and her flight gets delayed. Just a mess, right? We had doctor's appointments today. Good news. The, uh, head colds they had turned into ear infections. Should have seen that one coming, right? Uh, anyways, anyways, we're here. We're finally recording it and it's going to sound a little bit different because what we defaulted to doing, what we kind of had to do was I asked Annette to record a segment. So I gave her um, the password and login for my remote uh, recorder, and she did a Devote December breakdown of what we're going to change for this year because we got to make some significant changes uh, to the format. She's going to tell you a little bit about it, and then I'm going to come back on and kind of clarify some of the the finer points of like why we're changing it up um, from a few different details she gives, and then some more specifics on what to look forward to in December. Okay, so... Uh, check out, here's the next part. I'm going to cut right to it and then I'll be back on in just a few minutes and we'll wrap this baby up. It's going to be a quick one, short episode because the whole focus is just to vote December and just giving you guys a preview of what's coming. So let's not waste any more time. Um, here is Annette, Annette Zap, uh, the other half of devote December. Hey there, it's AZ with fire rescue fitness barging in to the fourth shift fit cast to do my part and talk a little bit about our Devote December campaign for 2021. If you don't know what Devote December is, here's just a quick recap. In 2019, Chris Morella called me up very late in the month of November, and he said, hey, I think we need to do an initiative to raise awareness about firefighter suicide. And I said, I think that you're right. I think that's a great idea. And he said, I want to do it in December. And I said, okay, pump the brakes, hotshot. We don't have time to plan this. And he convinced me. And so together in a matter of a few days, we put together a campaign. And the premise of it was that we were honoring and memorializing the firefighters that had completed suicide during that year. And we did that by encouraging people to keep track of the number of validated suicides and then somehow honor those by uh, completing an activity. So let's just say there were 100 validated suicides on December 1st, you would complete 100 jumping jacks or 100 minutes of training 
or we even had a wonderful lady, Barb, who walked one mile for every validated suicide. So we reposted and kept track and cheered for people. And at the end of the month, we were just so tired and so overwhelmed with feelings and we couldn't really figure out why. And so we grouped up together and we decided that it was probably because we put it together really quickly and it it was a lot of work, but we probably just didn't plan well enough. And so that was why it felt so heavy. So in 2020, I started bugging Chris much earlier in the year and we used the same format in 2020. We completed activities, we reposted people, we shouted people out. Um, We all honored and remembered firefighters that had completed suicide in 2020. And at the end of the month, we were absolutely overwhelmed absolutely exhausted and just, it just felt so, so heavy to us. And so we thought, you know what, it's probably COVID, you know, everyone is exhausted and overwhelmed and tired. And it's just, the pandemic is just so much. It's probably COVID. But then we talked about it again in a couple months. And what we realized was that For the two of us, it was really, really emotionally draining. I would wake up dreading looking at the website and just crossing my fingers and hoping that there wasn't another validated suicide. I was holding my breath every morning when I woke up and it just felt like hard work. It felt like emotional exhaustion to post those statistics every day. And so we got really real with each other and we decided that we needed to make a change. We needed to make a change for our own mental and physical health and well-being. We needed to do Devote December, but we needed to do it differently. We threw around a few ideas. And one of the things that I've been talking a lot about lately is that it really only takes about 90 minutes of exercise a week to decrease your mortality risk by 20%. And so when you do the math, that's 15 minutes, six days a week. And so we thought, how can we take that sort of minimum dosage of physical training and apply it to Devote December? And so here's what we came up with. We're encouraging everyone to do 15 minutes of activity every day. Now, if you're all, if you're already training, you're, you already have a program, you're already doing something, I would actually encourage you to do something a little bit extra. So if you're doing the strongman training, maybe do 15 minutes of extra mobility or stretching every day. If you're doing a lot of running, maybe commit to yourself, I'm going to do 15 minutes of weight training. And, and if you are doing uh, a, a lot of just plain old strength training, maybe you could do 15 minutes of mindfulness and meditation every day. So if you're already training, we're just encouraging you to do 15 minutes of extra work on something that you're not working on currently. The other beautiful thing about what we came up with is that if you are not currently doing physical training, 15 minutes is a really, really manageable and low barrier to entry. So if you're not currently doing any physical fitness training, if you could just walk for 15 minutes a day or stretch or ride on the bike or any sort of movement, it's going to have a really big impact in your life. And we know that physical movement has a positive outcome on our mental health. And so Chris and I came up with this 15 minutes a day, every single day, and we still want to shout you out. We still want to repost you. We still want to see what you're doing. We're still going to devote December, but we're just going to do it a little bit different. We're so happy 
that you are listening to us talk about Devote December. We're so proud that you're participating and we can't wait to get started. So thanks, Chris. Thanks for your patience in me getting my portion of the podcast done. I'm excited to hear what Chris has to say and how he mixes this up and puts it together because he's going to have a lot of editing to do. I made a lot of mistakes. So have a wonderful rest of your November. I will see you on December 1st. AZ is out. Hey guys, Chris back here again. Uh, So that was Annette from the bottom of the ocean from her one person submarine. Uh, In case you heard that little sound glitch about five minutes in, a nice looking fish swam by so she had to run to the window to take a look at it. But Glad she did it. Glad this was an impossible week for her as well uh, to get this done. So uh, thank you, Annette, for taking the time out and doing it. And uh, you guys don't know this, but Katie's on the couch now. She uh, finished putting Nathan to bed for the second time. And uh, now she's down here listening to me talk to myself. So, I mean, talk to all you. A couple things I want to hit on real quick. First of all, I can't believe that Annette pretty much called out Matt Spade by name. Uh, for the strongman guy who needs to work on his mobility. Matt, I'm pretty sure you'll listen to this. I'm not sure how many other strong at, strongman athletes she knows that also dabble in mobility, but I'm pretty sure she said that you cannot uh, touch your toes. And I believe in you that if you do 15 minutes of mobility work every single day, you will get a center split by the end of December, and uh, you can show that off and tell Annette what she can do with her suggestions. The second thing I want to talk about is the number because we had a lot of discussions on that number and Annette talked about it, um, how we got away from it because of the toll it was taking on us. But I wanted to go into that just to, just for a second more because I could understand that being a point of contention. Like that, the number is the exact point of this whole thing for some people, right? Knowing how many people uh, completed suicide and then we do something to use that number to spur action, right? And the, the tagline for Devote December is awareness and action. It's on the, the rockers of the Maltese of the logo. So it's on there. But here's the thing. That number is important. It for sure is important, but it's important for like getting attention. It's a, it's a, it's a hook, right? It shocks people. Uh, it gets their eyeballs right away. But after a while, it's like watching the same scary movie or, or whatever time after time. You almost start to like, avoid it or just kind of want to skip past it and get to the other stuff. And that's kind of what we felt like was happening was just like Annette said, she would log on to the website uh, every day. And because of the way the website was run, it's just a small company. And, uh, you know, if they went on vacation or if someone was sick or if um, they were busy and they couldn't follow up with people and, and validate the suicides, they might get, they might be stalled at the same number for weeks on end. And then it would jump by seven or eight. Well, if you're just on the user side of that, and you're checking it every day, and all of a sudden there's seven or eight new confirmed suicides on there, the burden of that feels enormous, even though those seven or eight might have been being processed individually for three, six, and eight months, and uh, four days, and they all have different timelines on them, but they all finished up around the same time, so they all got added to the total at the same day. So it feels like this enormous loss happened overnight, even though we know it's not exactly what happened, but just the logistics of it, uh, and running it for such a short amount of time, one month, that meant that some months or sometimes there was only um, a movement of three to four tallies. I don't, I don't want to sound harsh about it, but three or four numbers added to the total in two weeks and then nothing for a week and then 10 after that and then nothing for a week after that. So it was very difficult to run such a short time segment of a awareness campaign using the numbers we did. You can say we should use different numbers. Here's the thing. It's, it's such a difficult number to track that at the end of the day, we decided we would still pay attention to a number. We would look for another source to find the number or a number we could rely on, but we wanted to move past that number and on to the awareness and action part of Devote December, onto the parts that we could really help people uh, affect a little bit of change in because we wanted to get past the initial part. We want to get past the hook, but using it every single day felt like we were just stuck on the hook every single day. So that's why we changed it to what we're doing. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is that Annette kept it very generic uh, in general in her statement of, we just want to encourage you to do 15 minutes a day. That's because the other thing that was supposed to happen this past week and a half was a little bit of a strategy session between her and I about how we're going to run Devote December. And that happened kind of 
but through choppy text messages and incomplete sentences. So here's what we're going to do. And here's how we're going to start. On December 1st, we're going to give you four out of six days of things to do, up to 15 minutes of thing per day, okay, or per time that we give it out. So if we give you a workout, it's going to be 15 minutes or less for a workout. If we give you a writing prompt or a mindfulness mindfulness exercise, it'll be up to 15 minutes. It might be less than that, right? But 15 minutes is what we're kind of uh, shooting for that or less. We might do meals, 15 minute meals. We might do 15 minutes of something, four out of six days. The other two days are going to be your grab bag days. And we're going to give you a list of things that can be done to fill up 15 minutes to make you pay attention a little bit, right? Maybe affect some positive change in your life or some different change, even if it's not positive. Maybe it's just different. And in the future, it'll become something different and better. But for now, we're just looking for different. We're looking for 15 devoted minutes. And we're going to give you four out of six days of that to get to the next 90 minutes. Uh, it's going to be on the Devote December page. I'm sure that we'll share it to our individual business pages. But that's kind of how this thing's going to run. We're still going to bring on guests who are going to do uh, each of those 15-minute dose things for us. Um, We're going to do a lot of them ourselves, but what we're looking to do is move past the number uh, and really get back to what Devote December was supposed to be for, which was honoring those that took their lives, obviously, right? But then planting the seeds and planting a little bit of something there so that in spring, when we do spring for change, and when statistically uh, the general population suicide numbers are much higher in spring, that's that's the peak, in spring, maybe you can look back on something that happened or something you did in December and kind of go back to that in your time of need. Go back to that and use it for a, a little bit of inspiration or a little bit of uh, endorphin boost or a little bit of something, a little bit of relief when you might need it the most. So to devote December is really about planting those seeds, and that's what we're hoping to do, just 15 minutes at a time. The other reason I like 15 minutes is it's it feels shorter and less committal than 100 to 130 of something, right? So 100 squats might only take six or seven minutes. I don't know, I'm just guessing. Might take six or seven minutes, but 15 minutes of workout feels like potentially less than 100 squats to me. I don't know why. It just feels, maybe because it's just a raw, a smaller number overall, Uh, but 15 minutes or less feels like a smaller commitment than 100 plus of something per day. So maybe we'll take it from that angle too. Maybe that'll be a good way to do it. In any case, that's how we're going to try it this year. That's 2021's plan. The good thing about this, if it doesn't work, we'll switch it up again next year because we're going to do it again next year. Um, And we'll find a better way to help as many people as we can. And we're going to couple it up with Spring for Change and help even more people, hopefully, and uh, just keep, keep pushing this thing forward. Keep making as much positive change in the fire service as possible. Uh, But we can only do it with spreading the word and getting as many people involved as possible. So follow Devote December on Instagram and on Facebook. Tag us in everything you're doing, even if you're not doing what we're telling you to do for the day. Even if we put up a menu or a recipe thing and you do a workout, tag us in that. If if we tell you to do a writing exercise and you do a uh, recipe thing, tag us in that. The more that we can fill up the tags of Devote December and spread this message around, the more people will see that a small, small time commitment per day for a month can really pay off lasting dividends for someone's life in the future. All right. So that's it. I think I had more written down here, but that feels like enough. We're about 17 minutes in. Uh, still a short episode, I'd say. Guys, if you need anything, please don't hesitate to reach out. ForceShiftFit at gmail.com or ForceShiftFitness on all social media. Just funnel everything to the at Devote December page for messages. We're both checking it uh, or the Force Shift Fitness page, and I'll forward it to Annette and Devote December page as needed. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. As always, be a Force Shifter.